Hello everyone. Well, it's another Theo Klein toy vacuum cleaner to look at today. And this one is based on a Miele S2 Special, or I believe now they're called Miele Junior. Anyway, it's the budget price, bottom of the line Miele, the most affordable Miele cylinder cleaner you can buy. So Theo Klein are very good at the details at making models that look like the real thing, but the performance of these tends to be pretty poor. So I'm not even sure, to be honest, if this one does have a vacuum function. It does have polystyrene balls, but they're already inside there so possibly we won't be doing a demonstration with this i'll just be showing you around the machine and switching it on because i'm not sure if it's going to collect any of my polystyrene balls but before we can find that out i need to remove it from the box here's the cleaner out of the box and i must say i am very impressed with the way it looks it really does look like a scale model of a Miele s2 You've got a curved handle, there's the hose, a single extension wand, and the Miele FibroTech cleaner head. Now, if we turn this over, we can see that there is no opening. So basically, this is a non-functioning toy vacuum, which seems a little bit strange when Theo Klein normally make these cleaners to actually pick up some dirt. There are batteries in it, so it does make a noise, and I am assuming that the polystyrene balls will move about, but you can't actually pick up any dirt with it. But anyway, I'll put the batteries in, and we'll see how this machine sounds, and obviously, if those polystyrene balls do jiggle about inside that clear compartment there. Like a lot of these toy vacuum cleaners, this particular one takes C-sized batteries and I think it takes three of them, yes, three batteries one two three okay, they're in place correctly pop the cover back on and do up the screw even though it's only for show, we now need to connect the hose so the hose just simply pushes onto this part here. Just push and twist. Turn it a bit. That's nearly on, I think. Oh, that's it, that's gone on there. Quite difficult to do. There we are, so that's the hose attached. Now we need to fit the curved handle in a similar manner. So it's just a, a push and twisting action until it's pushed fully home and again it's quite stiff to do certainly something you'll need an adult to do or someone who pretends to be an adult but anyway somebody with enough strength that is very very difficult i'm going to twist it now it might screw on no yeah just gonna have to <laughs> battle with this a little bit longer but you get the idea the hose needs to be pushed fully onto the handle well i've huffed and i've puffed but i still can't get it quite on but it's on enough it would take quite a bit to pull that away so it is on fairly well but not quite all the way okay so now we can connect the extension wand to the handle. These aren't very strong, I've found, so you need to be careful when pushing these on. It's a push and twist action. And then finally, Miele's FiberTech carpet and floor nozzle. Again, that's just a simulated switch, that pedal, it doesn't do anything. It's, again, it's just for show. In fact, this whole toy cleaner is just for show because it doesn't actually do any cleaning. Oh, that goes on quite firmly. Oh, hang on. Mm. Again, you have to be careful. Don't push it on too much because you might split it. It doesn't seem to be 
the best quality, certainly not the quality of the real, real Miele S2. And that's um, sort of a cheaper Miele, so some people say that's not the best quality compared to some Mielers, but it's still better <laughs> than this toy. Okay, well it's assembled. Oh, we get some sort of a noise. I don't know if that's deliberate, but it does glide quite easily over this carpet. So you can pretend to vacuum if you want to. This is the control panel of the cleaner. So we can select from minimum, which is 300 watts, all the way up to the maximum 1600 watts. So this is obviously made before those nasty EU regulations that limited the wattage of vacuums. I think, believe it's 900 watts now. I'm not sure if it moves, no. That doesn't even move. Again, purely cosmetic. We've got a pedal here to rewind the cable, but that doesn't move. We even have a pretend, and that's a German plug design, where on the real one, there would be a real plug and you could pull the cable out. Obviously on this model, it's just an embossed piece of plastic. The on off button is functional, but we'll save that till the end because that hopefully will do something. There's not much else to see around the cleaner. Got the Miele branding, of course, either side. Miele here as well. Got a carry handle so we can take it up the stairs to clean the bedrooms, etc., or pretend to clean them. Underneath we've got two swivel casters and a single one here. We've got the parking slot. Now, did we have one? Ah, there isn't one on the real one. There's a parking slot here as well, but not on this. So you can actually park the wand and the Fibertech head like that. So again, that is like the real thing. It's very like the real thing, but much smaller and of course, non-functional. So now is the time to press the only functional button on this cleaner, the on off switch. Well, even the polystyrene swirling beads is a bit pathetic on this. It's rather a disappointing toy, but hopefully this has convinced you not to buy one if you think it's going to actually pick anything up, because I don't know if it makes it clear. I mean, I like it because it's, for me, it's a scale model. That's how I look at a lot of these toys especially the ones that are as detailed as the Theo Klein ones. They do look the part. Um, it is completely accurate the way it's designed. Well, not 100%, but it's as near as the real thing as you're going to get. But it's just a shame that it doesn't actually do anything. But you can, if you want, you can have fun walking around the house pulling it along behind you and pretending to clean. So there you go, that's the Miele S2 toy vacuum by Theo Klein. It's a very detailed model. It looks the part, but the functions are pretty poor. It does sound a bit like a vacuum cleaner. The polystyrene ball effect isn't very good. I was hoping they'd move around a bit more than they do. And all in all, it's pretty disappointing. 
if you want a cleaner, especially if you want a cleaner that's going to actually pick up some dirt. If you want something to display and you like toy vacuums, then yes, I would recommend it. I've also seen this in other colors. You can certainly get this in yellow. If it's still available on Amazon, I'll leave an affiliated link below. If you click on that link and buy one, I do get a very small commission, which does help me to uh, keep making these videos because it's uh, not a cheap business making YouTube videos. Well, it's certainly not cheap for me anyway. So until the next video, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.